Having super this one is says an investor owns a bond that's redeemable for two fifty in six years from now. And the investor has received coupon C and each subsequent semi annual coupon will be two percent larger than the preceding coupon and the present value. I mean the answer is this. So this calls for the bond pricing formula. So this whole thing is worth it's five eighty two fifty three. And they're saying that we just received the coupon of C and each subsequent semi-annual will be 2% larger than the preceding coupon. So this, this kind of sets up a ge geometric increase sort of equation to figure out the present value for the coupon, which usually happens here. Then towards afterwards, it says that after the payment of the coupon, no, it says that towards afterwards, it says that uh, that it's redeemable for 250 in six years from now. So that is the second part of the bond pricing formula. And it's 250 V to the, well, they're saying that there's a semi-annual situation here. So we're gonna have to do V to the 12, right? Six times two. Now we're gonna have to figure out what's happening here. So it says that We'll use the timeline just to figure things out. It says that the investor has just received the coupon of C, which is going to occur at the time zero. And then afterwards, um, uh, each subsequent semi annual coupon will be 2% larger than the preceding coupon. So that means that at time one, it's going to be C times 1.02. And then at time two, it's going to be C times 1.02 squared. Now, another thing is just that for each of these increases, in order for it to qualify to be a present for the present value geometric increase formula, we're gonna have to discount each of these by V as well. So we notice that we see a pattern throughout and this is gonna be happening up until uh, 12 payments. Why? Because there's semi-annual coupons one. Two, there are six years, right? So that means that this will continue on until this becomes to be to the 12th, right? Now, what is the present value of a geometric increase formula? It's always first term minus first omitted term over one minus common ratio, right? So what is the first term? Well, the first term here consists of, well, we could take out C for sure consists of 1.02 V and then minus the first omitted term. So and then the first omitted term is 1.02 um, V to the 13th. Because the it would continue on and it would become this, and then one minus the common ratio, which would be one point zero two v, right? Now we we found we set up our whole spiel for what is happening here. Now we're able to solve for what c is equal, right? We are inputting this whole thing as a replacement at the of, on top of the regular present value equation that we would have. So um, now they're saying that we're assuming an annual effective rate of 4%. Oh wait, we have to convert that as well. So we're gonna do, we're gonna set this up equal to a one plus J semi-annual, right? So what is semi-annual? So it'd be, 1.04 to the 1 divided by 2 minus 1. So j is going to be 1.98%. Now, that means that we use this to solve for what this is uh, working with. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 
is just one we'll just give this that one then we could do 1.02 uh 1.02 times uh 1.0198 One point zero two to the thirteenth times one point zero one nine eight to the negative thirteenth. So this is going to be one point zero zero two five. So we notice here that this whole thing is going to become zero. So what I'm assuming that is that we have to depend on a common ratio sort of thing where. We're able to see that um, we're able to see that each of these are just if we were to uh, divide v to the square, each of these would just consist as of a common ratio of. 1.02 over 1.0198. So what we can do here is we could just multiply this whole thing by 12, right? Then we could do 1.02 times 12 divided by 1.0198. 12, right? 12C, so it'd be 12C here. And then we figure out what this is. So, and then we divide by 12. And then we'll end up getting 32.07, which is closest to answer A. So again, what I, so just for sum up, set up the bond pricing formula, knew that the usual present value format here was unusual given that each semi-annual coupon is 2% larger, set up the geometric increased present value formula, solved this using effective interest rate, realized that all of these terms were setting up to zero, which meant that I would have to find the common ratio for each term, which was 1.02 over 1.0198. Multiply that by 12 because there were 12 in all payments. Replaced that and multiplying it by C, then solved this, then moved this to the other side, then divided 12, and then I just ended up getting 32.07 um, uh, C, which is closest to the answer A.